you know, all of D.C. was surprised after the riots, the damage, you know, that was done to the city. They were burning, they were looting, people were devastating, and they didn't want to go back to the business. At some point, we were allowed to drive through 7th Street and saw the destruction. I saw the burnt out buildings, the windows broken, the black soot that was left from the smoke, lots of destruction. A lot of those businesses were, were um, Caucasian owned and a lot of the, those storefronts were destroyed. The glass was broken in, glass everywhere. They blocked off some streets. Some of the buildings were just, it's all built, burnt to the ground. The Chinatown area after the riots started to have a little bit of a downturn because those businesses or places that couldn't recover, most of them became parking lots for a while. The government did build two buildings in Chinatown that house, you know, their basic city government. Uh, they're gone now, but if, you know, that became part of that of our block. Furniture Row, 7th Street, took a while to recover because after the original businesses left, they all moved out into different areas. And, you know, little stores would pop up here and there, but in the big stores and all the department stores actually faded after a while. Chinatown itself, I think, wasn't hurt because, you know, ethnic stores, you know, there always was a need to have, you know, Chinese food and Chinese groceries. So initially, I don't think uh, Chinatown got hurt very bad by the riots. After the riots, I think a lot of people came to the realization that the riots hurt the communities and the people living in D.C. more than helping a situation. The communities got scared. People start moving out to the suburbs. We lost a lot of business. We lost a lot of neighbors. Then the big developers came in, revitalized the city by taking a lot of the burnt out buildings, gutting them and rebuilding on them. But that process didn't happen until the late 70s and 80s. Um, they're still rebuilding parts of it and Chinatown over the years has gotten smaller and smaller and smaller because we didn't have the business to sustain it once everybody started moving out to the suburbs. 